Look at that. Beautiful, huh? I am loving it. Yeah, you see all that? Man. Look at South B. Look at South B. I can't believe this. Guys, ish. I can't believe it. But next to Nerko is where I saw such a beautiful change. You're gonna see it. I think those are the premium flats of South Bay. Wow. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to Ayoma Lives. Today I'm taking you with me to somewhere that is so dear to my heart. A lot of memories there. I'm talking about South B of Nairobi, Kenya. Yo, it's been a minute. That's where it all started, all right? Let's go, I tell you more about it. So let me give you a glimpse of Imara Daima, yo. Uh-huh. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> so I'm uh, starting this video in Imara Daima. Mm, this is the Riara Road. Riara is uh, one of the schools in Nairobi, Kenya. And uh, on my left uh, is J J Jabali Christian Schools, but it's also uh, International Christian Church, ICC Church. Ah, I'm sure you couldn't see it. Yeah, let's go to South B. So many memories in South B. That is where I began my independent life in Nairobi immediately after campus. Hmm, how many years ago? More like, whoa, more than 10 years ago. <laughs> I am not young at all, y'all. Hmm. More than 10 years ago. That was in 2012. You can imagine. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> wow. Where it all started. The humble beginnings. My South B story, you won't even believe it, yo. Huh. I used to work with uh, Davis at Shatliff. That was my my first job. Uh, it was a sales job. I was a sales engineer at Davis at Shatliff. You can see the Imara Daima Junction just right ahead. Hmm. Yeah, then we go join Mombasa Road. I'm excited. But also, it has a lot of memories, South Bay, man. We are still in Imara Daima. This is Catherine de Reba Road. That leads to now Imara Mall. Then you join Mombasa Road. Ah, shit, why am I so excited? I'm just shooting content. Come on. <laughs> ah, so yeah, you can see ahead. You see that blue thing? There's a playground for Imara Mall. Imara Mall. Ah, it's a beautiful sunny day in Nairobi. And to be honest with you, I don't know, but for some reason, I'm in the best mood ever, ever. So on your right there, let me show you. That's Imara Mall. Okay, then ahead, we're gonna join Mombasa Road. That's Imara Mall for you. It's owned by Tough Steel, the same owners of Tough Steel that owns Imara Mall. So here is Mombasa Road. Let's go! <laughs> wow, look at that. Look at how bright today is. It's gonna be a good day. Oh, by the way, it's Friday in Nairobi. I think that's why. We have to do some refueling because the gauge, the gauge, the fuel gauge is reading something else, yo. Mm.
I don't know. I don't even know if I have some money in my account, but you know, it is what it is. Equity, 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 equity. Let's. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this. Wait. Do I even remember my pin? Because it's, it's been a minute since I used my card. Is that even a card? Yep, so we've just filled that uh, the total next to the total Imara Daimo, or rather Imara Mall. North Airport Road. No, 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 we've not reached North Airport Road yet. Expressway Lounge is just behind here. officially let's go man guys huh? this is Mombasa Road Nairobi for you yo me I'm just happy because the last few days there's been uh, it's been raining pretty much every evening last evening it didn't rain so you can imagine the weather today it's all sunny and and happy it's a happy weather <laughs> Yeah, so before I went to the fueling station, I was telling you how South V carries a lot of memories for me. It's where I started to live independently. So I graduated like this and then by God's grace, I got a job before I even, uh, no, I actually got a job. I finished my paper is in September and uh, we were to graduate in December I got a job in November so I got a job one month before graduation I was studying engineering from the University of Nairobi and so I had gone to David's and I had gone to Davis and And so I was walking around in different companies, just dropping my CV. And Davis and Shatliff, and Davis and Shatliff, when they called us, they had said they needed guys for internship, right? So we went for an interview knowing it's gonna be internship. But guess what? The same day, it was a really rigorous process. They did three interviews in one day. Talk about saving time, energy, and resources. <laughs> Which is a good thing, right? So we went in for the first interview. We met the first people in the first panel. So we went in for the first interview, and guess what? We met, uh, of course, the HR and uh, the managers. I don't remember who exactly. Probably the CEO came now in the last interview, the third interview. So first interview, second interview. <laughs> and in the third interview, I remember saying, I remember being asked to tell them about my family. The same question we had been asked in the first, in the second, in the first and second interview. The same question we had been asked in the first and second interview. So guess what I told them? I told them I'm hoping this is the last interview and this is the last time you're asking me this question. <laughs> and yet,
they asked me the same question in the first and second and third interview so i was like i'm hoping this is the last interview and this is the last time you're gonna ask me the same question <laughs> because okay i was very ignorant not exposed fresh from campus never been employed all right but also because the question uh, required sort of telling a long story about your family na, na, na. yeah all right not that i'm not proud about my family i'm so proud god bless my father's soul my mom and everyone in my family i love you anyway so then guess what in the third interview we had remained now five candidates so they chose three candidates and it i happened to be one of them god bless their soul but guess what they told us now it's not internship they're giving us a permanent job yeah ah! just say a man in the comment section but in the meantime this is gm look at how beautiful nairobi is and how my camera is doing this video a justice mm! i'm using my phone i'm using my phone to film i don't own a camera at the moment i'm still using my phone but comment down below on the quality isn't it good isn't it great look at that i'm sorry for screaming i'm just in the best mood today and i'm allowed to scream because some days are always so awful i don't even have the strength to talk okay so today i'm allowed to scream and it's a friday so excuse me <laughs> we're still on mombasa road we are still on mombasa road you see on the left there that's lab and allied lab is it allied or allied on the left there and you can see also odds and ends signposts blah 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 mombasa road in nairobi kenya we are heading to south b as i told you earlier hmm. memories yeah huh, you're not ready come with me so yeah Davis and Shetliff, we got a permanent job like that. That was my first job as a sales uh, engineer. And that's how my sales career began. From engineering to sales. I mean, engineering helped in the sense that when I went into technical sales, I could easily understand the products, the machinery, the equipment, name it. So in some sort of way, engineering was a great foundation for me. Now add to my... Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Check it out. Check it out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Check it out. Check it out. Uh-huh. Look at those mini buses. They always think they own the road. This one was pushing me to the right. I'm telling you. approaching the route that you use when you're going to the bypass on the left there the same route that goes to Ole Sereni so you join it go to the left you can also see the furniture palace on the left the green building yeah amazing next year you're gonna see next next you're gonna see next gen mall Yeah, that round building there, that's Next Gen Mall. Opposite is um, Eka Hotel, normally, yeah. Oh my God, it's a beautiful day for real. Guys, it's a beautiful day. Me, I don't know how I'm feeling, but whew, my hormones are happy. I'm ha I have happy hormones today, yo. Hmm watch out for my next video i'm gonna do for south sea as well a little somali land in nairobi as well apart from easily because a lot of somalis live in south sea but yeah so i mentioned south sea because we are nearing bellevue and bellevue is where you branch off to south sea 
gosh, Ari, it's your birthday. I think I should celebrate my birthday today. Mm. Because this mood should not go unutilized. I have to do something today. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All oh, glory goes to God, by the way. Yeah, so this is Bellevue. Ah, nice. So we're almost branching. We're going to branch off. And then we pass Capital Center. And we go in through the turn. After some some 100 meters or so after Capital Center. See? The expressway was really done well, if you ask me. By the Chinese. We are in debt, but... It was a good thing, yeah. In infrastructure wise, they did good. Oh, so be here we come. We are coming. <laughs> Why am I feeling emotional? I stayed in South B. No, I mean South B. Yeah. I stayed in South B for more than a year, almost one and a half years before I moved. Hmm. A lot of memories there And those days Those days I was Super duper hyper I was young So energetic And I had to find ways to Dissipate my Energy <laughs> So I was super hyper Outgoing Extremely outgoing hmm. There were two There were two clubs in South B that I really frequented playing pool meeting with friends I I don't know whether they're still there we're gonna see right <laughs> gosh wow 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 then there's also Nirku I used to go to Nirku a lot for the meat and then Yamachoma or Tumbukiza <laughs> Yeah, if you know Nerko, comment down below. So we are branching off to South B here at the footbridge. The footbridge is uh, right opposite Belleville. Oh man, South B here we come. I think I'm gonna start this side where there is a uh, oh the, this turn here. Before we go to the shopping center, we'll go later. This is uh, some of the residential estates in South B. And also, this is the route you use when you're going to Nerku. Yeah, this is the route you use when you're going to Nerku. Oh, my God. Yes, look at that. Hmm. South B. Oh man, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. But I know nowadays there are a lot of flats in South B. Those days there were just these gated communities, Plainsview. I remember I stayed in Plainsview and Golden Gate. And then there's also Azena on the other side. So let's go through this route. Oh man, South B has completely changed because of these flats that came up. Oh my God. This place never used to have a lot of buildings, not even the shops. When I lived here in 2012. Wow. Look at all those flats. This is South B guys. No way. No way. No, 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 no. What? These buildings never used to be there. Oh my goodness. Look at all those flats. This video is not even doing it justice because the sun is from the opposite side. But look at that, guys. All these flats. Let me tilt the camera a bit. Do you see that? And also, this road never used to be tarmac. I don't even remember seeing this road when I lived here. Oh my god. Look at that. I can't believe this. Okay. 
there's a there's a I think this is a dead end so I need to turn and come back and show you more oh no it's not a dead end what is happening here guys look at that I can't believe this look at that all these buildings together very close up look at that but the thing is the buildings are really closed up all these buildings were not there I think they came up in between 20 2020 actually because I came back here visiting friends and still they were not here but this is amazing oh my god I see ahead there this attic place that's Kifaru Heights okay they are all closed up interesting I'm trying to see if I can turn and just come back and show you the other side but ah this is shocking man honestly this is shocking um this is shocking I'm trying to see where I can turn so that we just go back and do the other side of Azina oh man wow there is no way this is South B. I'm completely shocked. So there's a lot that can happen in a span of five to ten years. All these buildings came up in a span of five to ten years. Yo. Wow. Okay, okay. So all these buildings came up in a span of five to ten years. I'm completely amazed. This is shocking. Who lives here? Comment down below, man. I'm in your hood. <laughs> this is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. This Shalom Apartments. Who stays here? Come on, guys. Huh? I, I see a lot of Somalis around already. Wow. So yeah, let's go this other side. I've reached a dead end there. Oh, where does this route go to? There's a lot to do here, but I think where does that one go to? Anyway, let's let's go this side of Azina first. I show you where I used to live. Golden Gate and Plains View. Yeah, you see all that. Look at South B. Look at South B. I can't believe this. Let me show you this side as well. Ah, look at that road. You see here? All oh, those are residential flats. Guys, ish. I can't believe it. But next to Nerko is where I saw such a beautiful change. You're gonna see it. I think those are the premium flats of South Bay. Wow. Ah, la, 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 la. This is, this is interesting. This is interesting. I need more fuel, man. Look at that. So, this is... Um, can see Kenna on, on the left there. <clears throat> wow. Okay. South B. It never used to be like this. Because when I used to stay here, nothing used to be like changing. There were no new buildings coming up. The roads were pathetic. And those times, I think Sonko was the one in charge. No, no, no. 
was it song no 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 it was the way back i don't know i don't know who was in charge of this place but oh man i'm impressed this road here it used to get so muddy when it rained now look at it it's tamat yo who did this who did this <laughs> who's your leader who who's worked so oh this has to be sana sana you see that uh roof uh grass touched roof that has to be sana sana it's a club that i uh I, I i never used to frequent it but yeah i used to know it that's sana sana for you ah oh, my goodness let's do this ah! yes now this is the road has a lot of memories so this one goes all the way to Nerkuo all the way to the end it goes to Hazina at Hazina you you reach the dead the dead end and then there's a supermarket there there's a shopping complex there oh my goodness this is also the route that goes to uh is it Plainsview or Golden Gate the other one is I think this one is the one that goes to Plainsview then the other side is Golden Gate we're gonna see right hmm I remember these car washes very very well like yesterday uh, my goodness prepare yourself brace yourself so we are directly on the Sun that's why the view is a bit blurry but don't worry we're gonna go back to the nice 4k completely super sleek 4k so we're gonna get we're going against the Sun and that's why Wow oh no this road, uh, no, it used to be the same tarmac. I can see nothing much has changed on the road. This one, but there are so many new buildings there, those ones never used to exist. This road is still bad. I see this road is still really bad oh Nerko is on my right guys ah. you see Nerko there shoot you see Nerko, it's a local uh, club in uh, South B. Let me just show you inside Nerko, just a moment. Let me find a place to park, then I show you Nerko in a bit. This is amazing. Yeah, that's Nerko for you, man. Comment down below if you know or if you have been to Nerko. So this is inside Nerko. It's best known for Nyama Choma. Tumbukiza, you know, meet, 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 meet lovers. This is a good joint for you in Nairobi, South B. It's like a local, yeah. It has just that simple local feel, but it it serves the purpose. One thing for sure, the meat here, mm, it's amazing. Come on, back me up on the comment section. Nerko, do you agree that the meat here is perfect though? <laughs> if you ask me, it's a great chill spot with friends you know after work manenos friday evenings you have pool there you can play with your friends and then you just pima nyama enjoy the so end of the week Nerko and unwind you. guys brace yourself look at this route you see all those flats ahead this one never here years ago this one never here i'm sure this have come up in between 2017 to 2024 that is seven years span and the road is not so good and that's why there's that vibration hey i came here someday to ask for the price for a one bedroom apartment so the road here is not so good but it works okay this is right behind next gen mall actually is it next gen or opposite something like that yo so this is southgate residence I came here some day and I was told 
a one bedroom apartment is 45,000 Kenyan money and that is in South Bay. I'm telling you. I heard you can do you can see Dennis Court. All these apartments were not there 7 years ago. Or okay, let's put it at 10 years ago. They were not here, okay? <laughs> and look at the road here. Hmm. This is the South B you don't see normally on TV. Ah, you guys have a quick mat. South B now, let me zoom. South B now has a quick mat. Hi. On the right, on the left there, you can see Wami High School. Wami, Wami or Wami. And then on the right, there's a quick mat. Are you kidding me? Ah, okay, South B, you guys win. Is this really so B? <laughs> and the quick mat is huge, yo. Yo. I can see Liberty Christian Center. Oh, this is the route that goes to that big church. What's the name of that church ahead? Somebody please comment down below because I want to turn and take you guys to Hazina. Ah, yes. So this is South B. And we've not even reached the shopping center yet. I'm still showing you this side. Huh? Hmm. Believe it or not, this is South B, Nairobi 2024. It looks completely changed. Completely different. Comment up below. I want to see which church that is. I've passed Embassy Court 2. Which church is this? No, that's... Oh, it's the other side, so I cannot reach it. It's the other side of the road. Akiba Estate. Okay, I need to turn. I'm looking for a place to turn. <laughs> a lot of memories. Oh, yeah. So that one joins uh, this road that goes to Enterprise Road. What's the name of this road? This road here ahead. What is it called? This one here. I need to turn here illegally. Oh, that's Winner's Chapel. You see that? I'm going to zoom so that you can see. Winners Chapel International Nairobi. Look at that. Beautiful, huh? I am loving it. Hazina, here we come. Ah, Plains View. So, Plains View is on my right. That's the gate that enters to enters Plains View. I'm gonna come back and show you. But yeah, let's go to Hazina first. Because I think when coming back, it should be brighter. Because the sun will favor us, the sun's direction. But now, look at that wasabi place. All these flats never used to be here. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh yeah, you see on the right, this whole wall is Plains View. It's a gated community there. There are no flats in Plains View per se, unless new ones. So they're just... Uh, there are no 
flats in uh, Plainsview per se unless new ones cropped up but yeah you see all those houses Ooh. yes Hazina here we come Are you familiar with this route? Comment down below because hey, sh memories, memories, memories. Oh my goodness! <sighs> I'm gonna show you Plains View when I'm coming back. I'll just hold the camera so you can see properly because it's on the right side, but you can have a glimpse as we go. Yeah, there's a school ahead. This school is called what? I don't know whether I can see it. Let me zoom properly. Yeah, that's cool. It's a Catholic school. It's Catholic. It's Catholic Archdiocese of Nairobi. Is it Archdiocese or Archdiocese? It's Archdiocese. <laughs> oh man. Memories for real. We are approaching Hazina Estate. You see that the sun post? You see that? That's Hazina Estate. I want to drive in and show you a bit of it just to show you how it looks like before we go to the shopping complex I don't remember the name of that mall we're gonna see it So this is Hazina. Habari yako? Salama. Kuna vacancy hapa nimeambiwa. Vacancy. Yes. Mm, yeko. Which which block? Uh, labda tuta tuta connect na Kateka then atakuonyesha. Uh, Aye, mm. nice. Sijo? Yeah. Mambo, nataka kuona hiyo nyumba iko vacant. Amesema na connect na Kateka. Nyendike. Jina Mildred. Zero seven. Two four. Mm. So this is Azina for you. You see how beautiful it is? Those are the houses. How they look. I like the environment. Oh yeah, so this is Azina Estates. Sante? Okay. Thank you. Now story when I was staying when I first started in uh, staying in South B I lived in a one-roomed house and we were sharing the bathrooms and the and the toilets I mean the latrines it was a latrine actually and it was at this corner where I'm headed one night a rat I didn't even have a bed that time so what happened I had a mattress that I was putting on the floor and one night a rat like a rat just came and and uh, climbed the bed and you know I scrumped like crazy I just saw it running out through the entrance so it was at this corner this place has really changed all these buildings all these shops never used to be here it was around this corner it was around this corner i don't know whether i can identify it because this place looks completely different and i paid seven thousand for the one room yeah that's how i started life but this this was the place you see that 
so that's river bank oh was it no it wasn't river bank i don't remember the name of the place but i don't even think if it had a name oh my goodness anyway yeah a lot of memories there were no shops here at the time that was in 2022 that was in 2012 I remember we even had a common area to clean dishes yo all these shops were not there man man you see ahead there that's royal angels academy hmm. then there's naivas just uh, next door <laughs> this place holds a lot of memories, you all. <sighs> so, yeah, uh, it is what it is. So there's this mall here. I don't know whether it's a mall or let me just call it a shopping complex where there's neighbors, the supermarket and uh, some shops. I want to show you a bit of that as well. Huh? Let me give you a tour, a proper tour. This is South B for you. So if you're thinking to come live in South B, at least you have an idea of what to expect. You see, that is Nivers. Oh, so, oh yeah, it's Nivers, but there are usually some small, there used to be some small shops inside. Let me go in and, and show you. Hi, hi, hi. Hey. That's that. So they have that complex there, shopping complex. It's very basic. The main anchor uh, tenant is Naivas, as you've seen. Hmm. Let's go back. I'm taking you now to the shopping center. On our way, you're gonna see Plains View, part of it. I'm not gonna go in, and then I'll show you Golden Gate and others as well. South B is still huge, man. Let's go. Mm. I got me popcorns at 40 bob, Kenyan money. things rent in South B is overrated comment down below I don't know why they normally hike the rent so much in South B probably because of its accessibility to, to Nairobi CBD or what what exactly why is the rent so high in South B y'all
to South Bay Shopping Center. Mm. Now pay attention to the left. The left, no, I mean the right. Because this is now Plains View. All those houses on the right are within Plains View Estate. Mm -hmm. No, there's Gideri, Gideri Rice Estate. Not only Plains View, actually, sorry. But I used to stay in Gideri Rice. This is right next to the shopping center. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I keep confusing Plains View and Golden Gate. So that is Golden Gate we've just passed. Sorry about that. It's been a minute since I was here. And here we are to the shopping center. South B Shopping Center. Oh yes, got another gate for Golden Gate. Sorry, I'm not able to show you because I'm driving and then holding the camera will not be really convenient at the moment. Oh yeah, there we go. So this is the shopping center, you guys. Yeah, so there's this road that pierces through the middle of the shopping center. That's the one I want to take to show you. Then after that, I'll show you the two of the clubs at uh, in South B shopping center and we'll pass by to show you Master Ho Mata Hospital and then we call it a wrap. So here is the shopping center. Enjoy, man! This place, the shopping center, wow. I would say shopping center never changes. The rest of South B has changed, but the shopping center sort of has remained the same. Look at that. Hmm. Okay, cool. Oh, <clears throat> A lot of memories here as well, huh? The salons I used to visit, the Muindi Mausi supermarket. <laughs> you know, one thing I love about South Bay is that it's chilled out. People here are so chilled out. You'd think is a little suburb of Nairobi. You guys are just chilled out. You understand? <laughs> yeah, minding their own business. Yet it's not even a suburb. Huh? So this is South Bay Shopping Center for you. Leave a comment, like, subscribe if you haven't. Tell me how the quality of the video is because my phone is doing these things justice, yo. I'm giving it credit. Mm -hmm. I can see 19 Coins Lounge. There used to be this club here. It used to have a different name. Now it's 19 Coins Lounge. Let me show you. And then you tell me how it used to be called. The name is coming and going. I don't remember. But let me show you. Ah. So this is another shopping complex of South B. Ah. It's called Vumira House. South King complex. Let me show you. You see that? That's Vomira House. South King Lika. And then uh, Peak Spot Hub. The one on top there. You see that club? What used to be the name? Please comment down below and let us know. Yeah. You see? Tabernacle Worship Center. Gospel Tabernacle Worship Center. And now this side, a friend of mine used to own a club here. I'm thinking it could still be there. You know those friends you have, Kitambo, and then sort of you grow apart. <laughs> yeah, so there used to be a club here. Oh, there's a nice hotel here as well. I've been here. Uh, 
what's the name we're gonna see i was here a long long time ago but this is so good for you man ah uh, yes the bounty bounty snipes it's called what there that the, the bounty suites hotel yeah So this is the South Gate Center. This is where the other club is. I want to go in and check if it's still there and then show you, right? out the names of the club so the club that used to be here were two there was Sinbin and then Twisted Hope so I used to play pool at Twisted Hopes and then the one at Vumira used to be called Picolina comment down below if you know these clubs unfortunately Twisted Hopes has been closed as well as uh, Sinbin Sinbin is now a salon <laughs> and Picolina is now another club your memories let's go let me show you um, Mata Hospital, then I think I'll wind up the video, okay? <laughs> So the one on the right here is uh, the road that leads to the church, the Catholic church in South B. It's called, uh, let me see, do I remember the name? No, hold on. I don't want to make a mistake. So let's just check out the name on the right there. You can see that gray, that gray gate. Yeah, this is the entrance to the church and the church is called what? It's here. Let me show you. That's the church. So that's our Lady Queen of Peace. Yeah, so let's head over to the Mata Hospital. You have a look, you have a glimpse of the Mata Hospital, all right? <laughs> You see how South B somehow has changed in some sections. Wow. Who would have, who would have thought that South B would look like this? Matter Hospital. This is Matter Hospital, one of the main private hospitals in Nairobi. Mambo, Karibu. Thank you. You see that? That's Mata Hospital for you. This is how it looks like. One of the private hospitals in Nairobi. gentlemen that's it for the 4k tour of Nairobi South B wow I enjoyed it 
I hope you enjoyed it as much. Please leave a comment, like, and share this video. See you on the next one. Mwah. <laughs>